Hello everyone, I am the Awesome Alberto, bringing you the awesome as always. And, uh, yeah, we're still looking through the Binocucom. And I'm adjusting these settings. Okay, we're done. So, in the last episode, I haven't uploaded in a very freaking long time. Well, I, not a long time, but you get what I mean. I'm just moving around, see, thinking on which one to do. This is actually post-commentary, as I did this a long time ago. And this is Lair of the Beast. Uh, yep, Lair of the Beast. I hated this level's child. Despised it. I despise it less. But, here's a little cutscene. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Now, the only reason why this post um, is because I can't remember. <laughs> I record the audio for this. But not the game on my actual commentary live. But, um. I recorded it, waited for about two days to go edit it because of the beach party, I think, is what kept me um, from editing it and all that, but uh, yeah, I kind of lost my audio. So I'm actually, I was thinking about doing having someone join me, but well, unfortunately, they think around 44 of zombies more games around. 44 of zombies is more important. Ah, uh, get the clue bottle, get the clue bottle, get the clue Get the clue bottle! There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to be... Make my more commentaries more interesting. But... The date of this audio <laughs> recording of me first commentating is, uh... Two minutes before 9-11. This video is probably gonna go up after... This video I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna basically be remembering um 9-11 my own opinion so like I'm gonna tell you what I, how I or where was I when 9-11 happened and you know remembering all the soldiers and stuff that people had died so that's a pretty bad day and uh it was a severe blow but in different, when different people look at it, it could have been stroke of after. You know, I'm gonna leave that for, the, for that actual video. These but oh yeah, there is something to agenda there. My dick. No, um, uh, uh, that was bad. But uh. I'm just so close to getting some uh, a lucky charm, but we're gonna have to wait. But um, so funny story. Since we were talking about 9/11, uh, I was actually in the first grade when it happened. So some of y'all think I don't remember. It's like how did I remember? I mean, he was like six years old. I was six years old. But that doesn't mean I don't have good memory. I finally get my lucky charm. But, um... Yeah, remember the video I sent to Indy Yaosh? I haven't heard back. Like, I understand if, like, okay, we're not looking for this. But damn, still tell me, like, if I need to improve on something or something. That's what I hate about, um, partner channels. And that, that's what scares me. This right here scares me. Back when I was a kid. Ready? Like, I literally freaked out when I saw that as a kid. I never finished this game because of it. And I will take a death because I won the, I missed the clue bottle. And I think I, if I remember correctly, I do die, but I do get the final uh, clue bottle. Yes, I did. Yep, I died. Right after I got it. And I land on the... Ben, on the, uh... Fine, but who cares? I am satisfied, and this thing doesn't say anymore because I'm 16 years old. So back to what I was saying. Apparently, so we were talking about my first grade life, 
I'm like, oh yeah, first grade. Mrs. Eisner, which was my teacher back then. Man, she hated me. I always got in trouble in my class. My mom just like, yells, what? And I'm like, yeah, I always got in trouble. I had to sit next to her because I got some trouble, so... She's like, that's not why she made me sit next to you. That's, do you even know why you got in trouble? I'm like, no. Because you were bored. Of course I'm bored. It's freaking school. It looks like I'm, I'm bored now because of school. It's like, no. Being mad, just to double check, I got two bottles because I was freaking out. And that's the end of this level. Yeah. That kind of creeps me out. Not as bad as the second game. Oh, there's something that creeps me out worse. But, um... I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. See, that's not a... Your demon's a wimp. If anything, they should make this code 666. No. I did the glitch. Woo! And, uh, we get a pretty nifty power. These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll it's not that this useful. Into your Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. It's really not that useful because there's only like one level that we're gonna actually need that. And I, as you can tell, I don't know if you heard the clicking, but I actually pressed circle twice. So you know what was up with that, but since I don't have to worry about losing a lucky charm, we get the third key. So, Swamp Dark Central. So, if I remember correctly, we go, yeah, we went over there. So, um, back to my story. I'm like, what do you mean she didn't hate me? She's like, she loved you, bullcrap. How come I always had to, wait, I'm trying to pull off an epic move. And I I killed him and I died. Dang it, or whatever. I didn't really care at the time, and I don't know if my audio's just that. Okay, test. Okay, we're good. Um, that was probably really loud. But, I finally got in this time. I'm like, well, if she loved me, why did I get in trouble all the time? The only reason you got in trouble is because you were bored. Like, duh. Now, quick thing about this level, if you miss something, it'll completely screw you over because it'll look like all the torches are lit, and it's like one little corner that isn't, so I'm actually pretty good at this because I've played this so much as a kid, and I've practiced this like 20 times over, but anyway, back to my story, I'm like, um, what do you mean, explain to me if how I was a boy, like, you already knew all the answers, I'm like, huh? Yeah, you knew all the answers, and you were bored, so you would tell the kids, yell it out the answer in class, so you can move on to the next thing, I'm like, huh? Like, yeah, you were smart, I'm like, me, smart? But, uh, that's a different story for a different day. Actually, no. She told me that my teacher moot me over towards her to give me more work and then as soon as I got done with all the work she would give me more work and yada 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 but let's just say I'm I maybe I may practice this level that doesn't mean I still don't have my screw ups I do lose track of what torches I lit so I'm like okay time to get more get more piranhas, which reminds me, I actually saw Pira the beginning of Piranha. Now, I'm not really into the gory movies, or the horror film sort of thing. I'm not into that. 
So I saw that and I kind of, I wouldn't say freaked out, I'm like, damn, because their titties, because the beginning was them on the lake, I didn't see the piranha break out, because I walked downstairs right after that. So I see those are chicks, um, like skiing, and like I said, last second, I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I have to do this level again. I finally got it. I'm like, yep, I have to redo it. But boom! Like point oh one seconds, I get it. It's amazing. Yeah, I saw the part where this chick was, uh, I don't know, paragliding with the boat? He get. And we're officially 50% through the game. No, I will not be doing 100% because you need to do the Master Thief Sprints. That's kind of a tune twister. Master Thief Sprints. Master Thief Sprints. Blah, 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 blah. Mari tongue twisted. But, so I'm, so I'm sitting there, like, because she had her titties hanging out. I'm like, damn, that's some big ass titties. So I'm, so I'm looking, and I see the piranhas. I'm like, oh crap, she's dead. So everybody knew that. My dad's like, oh yeah, she's dead. And then I see piranhas going for her ass. I'm like, man, if she was only one more, they would have more meat with them titties. And then I hear, you know, pull me out, pull me out. I was like, what? Legs, like up to her knees were gone. I kind of freaked out. Because, like I said, I'm not into that sort of thing. So I'm like, <laughs> creepy. Just like this thing. Like, your breath must really smell bad. Bro, like, seriously? But I didn't. I like to do the roll here, but I actually fail. For some reason, I don't know how I failed. I'm like yelling, WHAT?! I, when I was doing this, but um... Not that high-pitched yell. Cause I didn't have... My parents home, and I have parents home now, and it's officially... 9-11. Um... I'm in... Quick moment of silence. Alright, thank you if you joined me for that. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. That was a little nifty thing that they did, but... Um... Yeah, the next level... It's probably the longest in this, not this game, but this area. Descent in Danger. And only, this is only long because it makes you backtrack so much. Like, watch. I'm gonna get up, Bentley's talking here, so I'm gonna shut up. Look at that. Let's see our waterfall. That's the key. Now, if Sly Cooper wasn't a wimp, he would swim through there. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said in this video. I mean, sure, it's green goose and bones and body parts are going down, but he's a raccoon. Who cares? But anyway, I have to go all around this level. And see those boxes? Yeah. With the clues? Yeah, we can't get them. By the way, if you are outside and the uh, flashlights on you, they will still shoot at you, and you will die. Because, like I said, they're homing. So, um... Yeah, this level definitely makes you backtrack. Get some clue bottles here. Making sure I didn't miss anything, and I wanted to look at that guy's profile, and of course not. So you can't get over there from here, so you have to go up top, which is right above us. But we won't be able to do that until later, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and you know, just go around these these heads that, that he's throwing at us, and boom. Get these two coins, you get a lucky charm, and if you get close to him, he's actually scared. So, Pierre Flamno, Stermer Head Tosserus. Hates rainy days. Yep! So, smack? Thank you. So yeah, this place makes you backtrack a lot. But, uh, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah! I was talking about how smart I was back when I was a kid. 
So she, so she would sit there, get, kept giving me work so I can shut up. It's like, yeah, basically. I'm like, dang. Still couldn't believe I was smart. But, uh... Yeah, I will be posting probably the vid in the morning, morning of me remembering what happened on 9/11 and my thoughts on it. As this is the 10th anniversary, it's huge. After this, I'm probably gonna be hanging out with my family and stuff. Anyway, I'm a man. I gotta get through this. So I'm trying to get around this to get these two crew bottles over here. And I have to find a way to get back over there, so hopefully I can make this jump. Yes. Okay. Epic. Um, I think I missed some right behind me, if I'm correct. Okay, no, I didn't. Which is surprising. But turn myself around, thank you. And uh I actually had a little funny blooper coming up soon, but that's not until like five minutes, so. Go ahead and open up these. Let's get the two more over here. But, um, yeah. Halfway done. Like I said. Very backtracky thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump down here soon. I'm trying to find out where the voodoo guy is so I can smack. Now, it's not that bad of backtracking, so I'm gonna st stay in here and, you know, talk about it. Usually I wouldn't have this long of a bid, bid but you know what? Who cares? But, man, 9-11. That was just a bad day. Like I said, that's another video. Um, oh yeah, I'm starting a new Let's Play. Um, not on this channel. I, like, some of you guys know, but I'm part of Fantasy Comms. No, you see, if you guys know that channel, I, I think I n know you guys go to that channel, because I think I got some subscribers from there, and I say thank you. But, um, I'm starting a Let's Play over there. I don't think it's uploaded yet, but I'm also featuring a few vids over there. Like half a Sonic Heroes LP. And I'm basically in the Moemon LP, I'm the freaking Moemon. But yeah, I have a bad blue. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to get back somewhere, so I'm thinking, how the hell do I get back over there? And I died. So I'm like, you know what? That's this is kind of gross. But yeah, there's a lucky charm right above me. There's three clue bottles you see over there, and I'm trying to die so I can get back to the closest checkpoint. And of course, I wasted all that time just to get here. Back to the beginning of the freaking level. Man, what? What else to talk about? Um. Football's back starts up tomorrow. My Tampa Bay Buccaneers going against Detroit. You know, last year's fluke. We're gonna make it up this year. Um. You guys don't know I'm LPing inside the covers, by the way. I haven't played that game in so long, so I'm really rusty. I don't know how I got up those decent ranks. But, um... Yeah, I, I had to figure out my way around here, because I'm like... Ah, I don't have any, uh... Long things to stand on, so I'm like, okay, I hope I can make this jump. But I do, barely. And, uh... Don't know why I came up here. Nothing necessary. But, um, yeah, we're already back to where we were. Um, very tempted to play that, because I, to be honest, I love this level. It's not 
you know, this descent into danger, but I just love this level. So, to go along with the whole item smart thing, I might as well tell you about some of the classes I'm taking. I'm taking, I've said this in my other videos, AP Statistics, AP US History, which thankfully, I only have 44 vocabulary terms to go through for uh, chapter 4. I'm gonna copy off someone. It's not that sounded bad, even though I'm like about a foot away from my mic, so it's still sounding bad. But, um... Uh, yep. So what you want to do is take out that. I don't really care about the clue bottles that much. I actually had a fail here too, to be honest. It was funny. I had that. I'm like, okay. So I can't saved myself somehow, I guess. But I thought someone was at my door. Uh twenty one minutes. We got two minutes left in this video. Woo! I can shut up and probably get in the call, I don't know. But uh I seriously don't know what to talk about. This is cool. Take out this guy, because he's an idiot. Um Get Alan only needs two blue bottles, I actually knows where the they're at. So no worries, they're right there. So These codes are nothing before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be five seven one. Yep. And half more than halfway now, the game. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. Woot! We can slow down anytime we want to now. But I really don't like using the slow mo. It's. Look, we just get a tour of the level. Like, really? I like doing that. Hitting it and sliding into the center. That's pretty awesome. But... Yeah! Go back in the Swamp Stunk Center. Everything will be... Com this level will be done in the next episode. So next time on uh, Let's Play Sly Cooper, we'll be doing... Uh, what is the mission? That mission right there. And there's a mission hidden back there somehow. So, um... 30 seconds to spare. Hmm. Well, co commentator next episode. Probably know who it is. Hopefully not. I'll give you a hint. Eight times more subscribers than I do. Um. Dang, I still have time to kill the video. Um, 